You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the God of Destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Whis, enough. On to the video. The once ruling angel of the now destroyed Universe 13 has finally been resurrected with his influence being felt all throughout the multiverse, the hour of war is finally here with the original Myrno now active, the stage is set for the great battle to finally begin with Myrno setting his sights in becoming the supreme ruler of everything in the known multiverse, everything our heroes have gone through has now led us to this very moment in time and with the fate of all creation now hanging in the balance the question going forward is Will it be possible for our heroes to come together as a collective unit in finally being able to put Myrno down for good, or is Myrno finally going to succeed in getting his revenge in further executing his plans to then wipe out the very totality of life as we know it? Is it possible for our heroes to emerge victorious, or will Myrno go on to wipe out everything as we know it? Now before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, and want to be kept up to date with everything in regards to Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Super Manga, and everything involving the Dragon Ball IP, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video on this channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply stoked, ready, and excited to see what the future holds in regards to the Dragon Ball franchise. And with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your support, and let's dive straight into the video. As we kick off the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the original Myrno's Revenge manga chapter number one special, with the Grand Priest having to now sense that Myrno, his once fallen child, has now been reborn, as the Grand Priest went on to look up at the sky in sensing how Myrno had finally entered the multiverse, the Grand Priest went on to comment, the process is complete. Myrno, the once guardian of the former 13th universe, is reborn. His presence can be felt all throughout the 12 universes. I fear this day would come, but now I see what must be done. This was never intended to happen, and from what I'm sensing, his heart is overwhelmed by rage and hatred. I sense both a great loss and a burning desire at getting revenge settling in. He is too far gone to be reasoned, and with Beerus and Whis also sensing the same thing, Beerus went on to question this by asking Whis, I can't sense his power or life energy. Can you, Whis? Has he truly transcended beyond what he was? With Whis responding, it's more than just transcending. It's as though he is an entirely new being, a soulless one. This is how I remembered him by except he wasn't consumed by this darkness and hatred. And with both Goku and Vegeta also questioning this, that's when Goku went on to ask Vegeta, so how strong do you think Myrno is now compared to how he was before? I can't seem to feel his energy at all. Do you think he is truly everything he said he was going to be? With Vegeta responding, by the expression on Whis's face, I'd say we are not going to be dealing with the same person, Kakarot. There is no telling what we're in for once we run into him again. We are going to need to give it all we have if we even hope to survive, let alone beat him. Especially if his clones were difficult to deal with, let alone his true body. I don't like this. This might be one fight we cannot win, Kakarot, with Goku asking, wait, so if his full power and original body is now restored, then where exactly is he? As we only later find out that Myrno had now officially entered Universe 8, and as he did, Myrno went on to comment, now to begin. Universe 8 will be the leading example of my judgment. I sense a universe teeming with life. Life that has no purpose to exist in my world. These mortals here don't pose any threat to me, and to think that these gods would rather choose to protect these creatures over their own kind. 
It's been generations since I last came into this universe. Look how far it's fallen. Pathetic. And with Myrno scoping the universe, he then continues, It's time to purge you from this paradise you call life. Your loss of life will not be remembered. Let this be an example to the gods. As Myrtle then proceeded to glare, he went on to then completely wipe away multiple planets all at the same time by literally going out of his way and destroying billions of lives, and with the explosions taking place, Myrtle then went on to continue, the loss of billions doesn't come close to the exile I faced. To be condemned for wanting better. It will be you who will be condemned. And as he then went on to look at his hands, Myrno then continues, It's been a very long time since I was able to do this. By only using a small portion, let's see how many will fall. They brought this on themselves, and Myrno then wastes little time in unleashing a massive energy blast deep into outer space to where even the Grand Priest is able to feel this, and with Whis approaching him, he then went on to ask, Grand Minister, do you also sense this great loss of life in the 8th? I do, Whis. It has begun. I wasn't expecting for him to enter Universe 8, but rather come here first. But why? There must be a reason for this, so Myrno's influence and his impact in Universe 8 is strong enough in now being able to be felt by the angels to where Myrno went on to absolutely obliterate anything and everything that stood in his way, and with Myrno observing and watching every planet crumble, a voice then went on to cry out and asking, and just what the hell do you think you're doing? As seconds later with Myrno having to further acknowledge this, the God of Destruction Likior and his angel Korn had finally arrived on the scene, and with this, Likior further went on to ask Myrno, how did you manage to come into this universe undetected? You will not go any further. This ends right now, with Myrno responding, your threats mean nothing to me, Destroyer. Hello, Korn, and with Korn visibly surprised, he went on to then comment, so it is true. Myrno, but how? How are you alive? With Likyo responding, so that's him, huh? The one the Grand Priest warned us about, and with Myrno slowly turning around, he then went on to further acknowledge his brother by telling him, it's been far too long. Surely you haven't forgotten about me, have you? You seem to be doing well for yourself, tell me something. How has your position been treating you in this universe? I ask because there won't be one once I'm done here. The last time I saw your face, you stood in silence and watched me suffer. With Korn responding, Don't do this, Myrno. This is not the way, my brother. Think about what you're doing. With Liquor responding, There won't be a universe, huh? Not if I don't see it to end your life, there won't. You're no angel. You disgraced your title a long time ago. I'm calling your bluff. And this really irritates Myrno. With Myrno responding, Then if you're bold enough to call my bluff, come stop me then. I will enjoy ripping you apart and making you into my first example. Foolish animal, with Likyor responding, Pathetic, huh? That mouth of yours will be the first thing I detach from your face. You will not disrespect me as Likyor charges on in. Korn went on to desperately plead to Likyor by screaming, Do not engage! But it was already too late because what Likyor ended up doing was Likyor went on to punch Myrno in the face, but because of this, Likyor realized right then and there that his attack did absolutely nothing with Likyor responding, No way! But even then, as Likyor went on to continuously attack Myrno, Myrno went on to further tell the Destroyer, Your attack are a joke, and with one simple glare what Myrno ended up doing was he ended up launching Likyor right past the Angel Corn, and as a result sent Likyor flying through multiple planets all at the same time just by simply looking at him, and this happened so quickly that not even Likyor's Angel Corn was able to respond to this because the attack happened so quickly that the Angel could not register this, and because of his actions, Myrno then quickly found himself teleporting right behind his brother and having to tell him, don't assume that you will be exempt from this punishment either. Traitor! As Myrno then went on to backhand his brother directly in the face, Korn's body went flying into deep outer space as Myrno then continues, Your loyalty to that ridiculous child Zeno will cost you dearly. You could have made a difference. You all could. But now, I have become the difference maker and there will be no mercy, but then, Likyra ended up teleporting right in front of Myrno by then responding, I agree, there will be no mercy, Hakai! And as Likyra attempted to Hakai Myrno, nothing happened, and this put fear into Likyra's heart as he went along to comment, it's not working, 
why isn't it working? This isn't possible because Likyu was banking on the idea of having Hakai be the difference maker in this battle, and with Myrno now retaliating by punching Likyu in the gut, he then went on to tell him, your failure shouldn't come as a surprise when faced against a superior life form. You had your chance, puny destroyer. My power has no limits, and with Likyu's body literally quaking, he then went on to ask, what? are you? But that's when Myrna went on to create two energy sabers in his hand by further acknowledging Likura by telling him, let's lead by example. This technique was fumbled around by an entity known as Goku Black. Let's make use of this properly, as he then proceeded to literally chop off Likura's arms, Myrna then went along to further address the god by telling him, beginning with your arms, these in which we use against me will be taken away. If one chooses to live by the sword, then you will be held to die by the sword, destroyer. And Likyor is screaming in absolute pain and agony with blood dripping down from his mouth, and literally now being placed in a very desperate situation. But even then, with the angel Korn attempting to attack Myrno from behind, Korn went on in and attempting to punch his brother by telling him, Stop this! You will not, Myrno! With Myrno telling his brother, No, Korn, I will not. You will wait your turn once I am done. And with Myrno shown knocking Korn away, he further went along to address Korn by telling him, Ironic how you choose to fight for the Destroyer, but never bother to fight for me when I needed you the most. It is as I said, you will wait your turn. And as Myrno then shifts his focus back to Likior, he then went on to grab Likior by the throat by telling him, Now back to you. Do you know why this is happening? Because it's destiny. I hold the keys to both life and death. Not you. I am going to bathe history with your blood. Disgusting placement holder, you had no purpose. And those with no purpose don't belong here. So here's a parting gift, as he went along to stick his hand out, a token for your defiance. History will remember you as being the fool who believed he could have made a difference. Now disappear from existence. And that's when Myrna went along ahead to completely eradicate the God of Destruction of Universe 8, as only then the Beyond Dragon Ball Super Myrna Fan Manga Part 1 special then comes to a close. Now, this is it. Myrna is finally here, and Myrna is looking to take no prisoners under his belt because Myrna believes that in order for there to be a new beginning, there has to be a great end to everything that exists currently, which ultimately means both gods and angels alike. So we are going to have a massive like goal on this video in order for us to reach part two, which of course the like goal for this video is going to be 10,000 likes. Once we are able to reach 10,000 likes, then we are going to further proceed with part two of this story, which of course is going to now feature Korn being placed in a situation to where he is destroyerless. And now that he's backed into a corner by facing off against his brother, the question here, is will Korn actually go on to make a difference or will Myrno completely obliterate him as he just did with Likior? So in the comment section below, what I want to know from you guys are three specific things. Number one, do you agree with Myrno's ideology in having to hold his brothers, his sisters, and everyone else accountable for being exiled by the Omni Kings and the Grand Priest? Number two, where do you think Myrno is going to go after Universe 8 and is he going to completely destroy Universe 8 or is he simply going to kill off the beings there? So again, I can't wait to continue this story with you guys, and I can't wait to showcase the next episode to this story, only because if you guys thought that was something, this story is only going to get bloodier and more chaotic as it continues. So again, I want to thank you all so much for your support. If of course you guys are new to this channel and want to see more stories similar to this, then I do encourage you guys to subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you guys can always be in the loop and up to date with all of my videos and content being posted on the channel. Slap this video up once again with a big fat thumbs up by clicking on the like button down below. Tune back in for more. I can't wait to continue this story only because it's been a journey getting here. So with that said, I'm going to be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below and for part two of Myrno's Revenge. Take it easy guys and have a great day.
Peace. And a quick little reminder before you exit the video, if you guys are unaware, follow me on my secondary channels, which are also used to discuss and talk about all kinds of different subjects and topics, including gaming and live streams, beginning with Unreal Network, which is a channel dedicated in discussing all kinds of movies, breakdowns, current events, scary stories, theories, and more. So if you are someone who is into the entertainment world, then that's the channel for you. So head on over and subscribe over on Unreal Network, which up next is Unreal Vlogs, where I bring you guys a little closer into my life and taking you behind the scenes with vlogging content, parody videos, reactions, motivational videos, uplifting videos, and more. So if you want to get to know me on more of a personal level, then that's the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button to always be in the loop with Unreal Vlogs. And lastly, my gaming channel, Unreal Royale, where on that channel we dive more into the world of gaming, ranging from all different kinds of video games, from Dragon Ball to Resident Evil to Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Gears of War, Minecraft, all kinds of horror games, shooters, RPGs, and more including live streams so if you're a gamer and are into the gaming world then smash that subscribe button over at Unreal Royale and experience the ride with me I want to thank you all so much for your time thank you all so very much for your support and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you in the next video this is the galactic emperor of the universe and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times and if you don't then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> Kakaro!